I've tried phones from a lot of different companies. Let it be Xiaomi, Samsung, Apple, Huawei or any other brand in general. I've even tried Oppo and Vivo. But what I've never tried is a phone from Infinix. And the weird part of all that is I have recommended lots of Infinix phones to my relatives, family and even at home I have 3 to 4 Infinix phones. Now my recommendations are for people who are not too much tech savvy like me and are just into buying a phone which is great value for them. So Infinix is a natural option for that. But what is it for a person like me who is a very tech savvy person and is very conscious about camera, build quality, design and everything actually. Well, take Note 7 for example from Infinix. It has a good display, a great design language, good speakers and even a great acceptable software skin. On top of that it also got nice cameras, decent ones which will get you good images from a 48 megapixel sensor. And what does stop me from buying it? over something like from Xiaomi. After trying it for a while, I got an answer, but it was not so simple. The cameras were absolutely great when compared to other mid-range phones in the same price category and sometimes even better. The post-processing was not so natural after all as it was an Infinix smartphone, but it was still acceptable and the this wonderful custom ROM known as the AeroOS and I'm still stuck on it. I tried all the AOSP based ROMs but I still found the AeroOS to be the most stable and most up to date ROM with active development. On testing all ROMs I found out that all the ROMs are similar with one or more well, the answer to this question lies within the software skin of the Infinix. Don't get me wrong, they have an acceptable software skin, but when it comes to me, a tech savvy person, I'm very conscious about ads and Infinix has a lot of them. It has ads built in it into its launcher, it has apps recommendation and I've even seen this on Xiaomi phones, but in Xiaomi it is much easier to get rid of them than something like an Infinix. It even has ads displayed to the left of it when you swipe from right and it does not stop here there are ads built into the system in the settings app and that is something really just not acceptable for me now I do get it that companies like this they really have minimal budgets and to keep making sure that they build great smartphones they need to serve ads but at the same time this is what makes me have mixed feelings about this company in general but I would definitely still recommend everyone to buy an Infinix smartphone if it fits into their budget and is right for what they want and I myself in general is also looking to get an Infinix smartphone just to review and get myself an experience of what it actually feels like. So that was it for the video. Hope you guys liked it and make sure to subscribe for more videos like that.